around you yeah. is the door you all of the time. I like it adjust to the left of the shifter that will include Eco Pro Comfort and Sport adjusting things like the shift points, throttle response, and the steering sensitivity then as well. And new 2023 BMW X2. All right, you guys, so here she is, the new 2023 BMW X2 finished in San Remo green, a very nice looking color, especially with our gold play accent package that we have here today. And by the way, the gold play special edition package goes for $4,350 if you were interested. It does add several things, including a sport tuned suspension, gold exterior accents, as you guys could probably see the very best on the wheels there, shadow line exterior trim, AKA gloss black exterior trim, M sport front fascia and styling. You guys can see that up front. 19 inch m specific alloys m sport seats m sport steering wheel and a heck of a lot more as well so really a good bit with that particular package that is new for 2023 but anyways let's go ahead and start now up front on the x2 here again san remo green is the exterior color name that we have here bmw active kidney front grille is going to come standard across the board you will get some aluminum trim surrounding that front grille and on the front lip as well if you do not go with the m sport or this gold play special edition package that we have today because otherwise you're going to get gloss black accents around that front grille as you guys are currently looking at right now front air curtains down to the side helping direct air around the wheel and tire combination for a little better aerodynamics to the sides then led headlights do come standard with led daytime running lights of course you get the automatic feature as well and actually those headlights do come with the cornering function as well meaning when you're going around a bend at night they are going to swivel based on the direction of your steering angle better help illuminating what is around that bend so you're less likely to hit a deer or possum or squirrel or whatever the case so really a safety feature in itself but that pretty much rounds out the front end of this one let's now go ahead and make our way to the side of the x2 all right so but now since we are around to the side first thing i want to mention when it comes to the side profile you can get roof rails there are satin aluminum roof rails available for an additional 250 dollars if you wanted to go that route just wanted to make you guys aware that they are available but regarding the window surrounds they are going to be finished in either a satin aluminum or a gloss black depending upon the configuration that you go with of course bmw logo found on that c pillar it's one of the most distinctive design elements of the x2 specifically and definitely a design element that i personally love then if you take a look at the front fenders you're going to find a little bit of m badging which can be had with the m sport package or the gold play package of course and that's why we have it here today so pretty cool as well matte black side skirts are going to be the standard configuration however if you go with that m sport or gold play packages you will get body colored side skirts and they look pretty darn good in my personal opinion also body colored fender surrounds as well otherwise they're going to be matte black for the standard configuration then take a look at the side mirrors they are body colored power adjustable side mirrors they will be heated with led integrated turn signals then as well then take a look down at the wheel setup there are several different configurations of course 18 inch y spoke alloys are going to come standard 19 inch double five spoke alloys coming with the m sport and then 19 inch arrow wheels with gold accents it's what you guys are currently looking at of course coming with the gold play package so pretty much rounds out the side profile very good looking yet again and now let's go ahead and make our way to the back all right so but now since we are around to the back all the way to the top you will find a body colored shark fin antenna just below that rear spoiler with an integrated brake light just below that rear window wiper gosh darn i love this exterior color in the sun right now it's looking so darn good i can't get over it but anyways led taillights do come standard as well you do have the x drive badging if the particular x2 that you go with is equipped of course just below it all you will find dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips however if you were to go with the m sport or gold play packages you will get black exhaust outlets so having said that i do believe you guys know what we have to do next as always here is that exhaust clip
It's been announced since we are around to the back of the X2. When it comes to opening that rear tailgate, it is a power tailgate and a hands-free tailgate as well. So there is a button on the key fob itself. Again, it's hands-free and power tailgate. There's also a button on the driver's side door, but my favorite way to open the tailgate is the hidden way through the BMW logo on the tailgate itself. You simply just press in on the upper portion and it is gonna automatically open up for you. So that is the way I personally would always open this thing up. But once opened up, cargo capacity comes in at 21.6 cubic feet. If that was not enough space, of course, this rear seats do fold down, bumping that up to 50.1 cubic feet, but quite a bit going on in the cargo area. Pretty much everything you could possibly want. Of course, you have cargo lighting. There is some netted storage found on the sides. There is a 12 volt power outlet. There are some cargo tie down anchors. There's grocery bag hooks. There's a cargo cover. And my very favorite part, if you were to lift up underneath of that cargo floor, you're going to find a very impressive amount of in-floor storage. And so you're either typically going to find a spare tire under there or in-floor storage. In this case, it's in-floor storage and it is a ton of it, more so than you typically find on all the other vehicles that I typically test. So I was definitely a big fan of that. But anyways, let's now go ahead and make our way up to the rear legroom. That is going to come in at 36.7 inches. So for reference, I'm mean even six feet tall this is how much space i had back there rear center armrest with cup holders does come standard you will find rear ventilation coming standard back there as well and a couple of phone charging ports then to go along with all of that but then make our way up to the front seats eight-way power adjustable front seats do come standard with two-way power side bolsters definitely held me in place very nicely around the turns in this thing and lumbar support as well and that was very adjustable as well by the way so easily able to find my perfect driving position as far as the finishes go sense the tech upholstery is going to come standard however dakota leather is going to come standard and black on the m sport and gold play packages and then if you wanted a different color it is a 1450 dollars option if you wanted to go that route but having said that I think specifically for the gold play package, I love the gold accents on the seats and even more so, I love that they're one piece as opposed to the separate headrest at the top. Typically, you always find that, but the one piece design, it's so much sportier. The seats themselves are very comfortable, especially because of the power side bolsters. And overall, I think they just look dang good as well. But then taking a look at the steering wheel, it is tilt and telescoping, of course. And this specifically that we have today is the M Sport steering wheel, hence the little M logo at the bottom portion that's gonna come with the M Sport package and the Gold Play packages. And that's gonna come with enhanced 10 and two grips. So it's gonna be a little thicker and all the steering wheels are gonna be wrapped in leather so you do have that for you as well but then make your way to the startup let me start by showing you guys the key here you do have your m sport colors on the one side and essentially all of your buttons that were going to be located on one side of the key you got lock unlock that button to pop the rear tailgate there and by the way the lock button is the bmw logo in the middle but ultimately it is all keyless entry with a push button start so all i'm going to do here is simply put my front of the brake and press that engine start button located just by the driver's right knee then and so once started up speedometer is on your left tachometer is on your right and there is a very small digital display front and center all the way to the bottom giving you essentially everything that you need like outside temperature how many miles you have left until you hit empty there's trip a trip b pretty much like i said all the standard information you could probably want on that digital portion of the gauges there but so then making our way to overall interior quality there is a power moonroof that does come standard on the x2 however there is a panoramic moonroof that comes with the convenience and premium packages. And so therefore, since we have the premium package, we got that today, so that's pretty cool. Anthracite headliner is going to come standard. Home light controls for up to three different garage doors can be found just underneath of that rear view mirror there, so I always love that. Dual zoom climate controls, so both driver and passenger can set their own temperatures, that does come standard. Ambient lighting coming with the convenience and premium packages, that is going to be there for you as well. And I'll, I'll see if I can pull into a shaded area here to show you guys so always love the ambient lighting in mercedes and bmw specifically they always do a very good job with that wireless phone charger goes for 500 dollars. if you wanted that that's going to be found just underneath of the center armrest there actually overall i love the design and the gold accents that we have since we have the gold play package so you have gold contrast stitching not only found on the seats of course but also on the doors just above the passenger side glove box there's also some gold accents just above those gold accents on the passenger side glove box so that's a pretty cool look as well just in front of the shifter you have a 12 volt power outlet usb charging port a little bit of storage dual cup holders just behind the shifter you have an electromechanical parking brake of course your wireless phone charger and 
and a little bit of storage just underneath of all of that with another phone charging port available there as well and by the way the center armrest is adjustable you can kind of lock it in a upward tilting position or downward tilting position or level whatever you want to do so i wanted to mention that too but anyways and making our way to the infotainment screen here there is an 8.8 .8 inch color touchscreen display coming standard and by the way it is touchscreen but there is also a circular dial and buttons located just behind the shifter personally if you were driving i would use the circular dial and buttons because it is a little bit of a reach then when you're parked you can use the touchscreen because it's probably a little bit easier that way in the end but ultimately bluetooth and audio streaming do come standard android auto apple carplay as well factory navigation system actually comes standard across the board as well so that's always nice to see weather information you can find up there and of course your radio information and so when it comes to the sound system here on the x2 you will find a standard 10 speaker hi-fi sound system with 205 watts so Having said that, what do you guys say? Let's go ahead and turn on the radio, see what we got playing today, and edible amount of bass. I gotta say, typically, with Christian Contemporary, you don't have that much bass, but this X2 did a wonderful job with the bass. That was certainly on point. Plenty of clarity, really, with 10 speakers and the size of the X2. You certainly are not gonna go wrong with that sound system. But anyways, last thing I wanna mention to you guys on the infotainment screen, of course, is when you do put this thing in reverse, you will find a rear view camera coming standard across the board, letting you know who or what is behind you, which is always is going to lead us into safety. And so front side, side current airbags do come standard. In the back, you're gonna have latch, AKA lower anchors and tethers to children for the rear car seats, rear child door locks, tire pressure monitoring system, but also coming east is a two liter twin power turbocharged inline four cylinder, putting out 228 horsepower at 5,000 RPM, 258 pound feet of torque coming in at right around 1,400 rpm power sent to front wheels or all wheels through an eight speed automatic zero to 60 time is going to come in at approximately 6.6 .6 seconds for the front wheel drive 6.3 seconds then for the all wheel drive mpg numbers then coming in at 24 in the city 32 on the highway for the front wheel drive 24 city 31 then on the highway for the all wheel drive taking premium unleaded fuel and 